Uh, now, where, where, when does this take place? When are the Grammy Awards? February 25th. You gonna, oh, it's pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. Now, you're going to go out there and get the, the, the tux and everything? And... I got, you know, and I'll have such spellcasts that night. <laughs> it's, it'll be exciting. Yeah. Well, it will be. That'll be, this will be a huge year for the Grammys, won't it, with uh, all of the people who did the uh, uh, We Are the World we are record the world, and, yeah. and everybody who's, yeah. Yeah, and, I'm, and this other project, the Comic Relief, is another huge project. What is that? that? Tell the folks what this is. This is a, a, a show that I'm going to host with Whoopi Goldberg and Robin Williams. Uh, and it's a three-hour live show. All comedians, actors, directors, writers uh, contributing to make this three-hour live funny show to raise money for the homeless here in America. And we're very excited about all the people we have. We have uh, Sid Caesar and the Schmenge brothers. And <laughs> it's just going to be an all-star bash and have a great time and try and help people who are yeah. having a tough time right now. And it takes place in uh, more than one place? Or is it all going to be It's going to be from uh, the Universal Amphitheater in L.A. Yeah. But we're getting you know guests to do... Um, special pieces for mm -hmm. us from all over the country so it's really gonna be a very exciting and night. people call in with donations yeah. or yeah yeah and we so we can uh, help this rather growing problem here yeah and this begins when it is march 29th live. march 29th beginning what time i think it's 8 to 11. 8 to 11. okay yeah, did. and you got an hbo deal yes april 5th april uh, 5th HBO, so HBO. It at the bottom line don't you think that cable is just about at the end Except for live performances, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, yeah. you in concert, more or less, at the bottom yeah, line. Yes, so I did yeah. my act, and there were cameras yeah. there, and they yeah. caught me on a good night. So Pleased with it. I feel real good about yeah. it. Okay. And we'll, I'll be seeing you at... Uh, you know, All the old familiar places. Comic Relief. Are you doing Comic Relief? Paul and I and uh, Chris Elliott would be doing a little something. We have to pause here again. We'll be right back, kids. Said. No, no, we're just... <laughs> Dave Letterman, and uh, listen, I'm really sorry I can't be with you tonight for all of the goofy shenanigans, but anyway, Bob, happy birthday. Believe me, 95 years young, that's that's terrific. Oh, and by the way, give my best to Brooke and Mr. T. It's uh, I know it's going to be a great show. Uh, now, the deal on us, uh, NBC has us out here in the uh, wilderness. It's kind of a, uh, you know, programming retreat, and we're here to toss around ideas on how we might deal with the uh, threat of cable television. Some threat, huh, boys? <laughs> yeah, we're real scared. <laughs> hey, Dave, you know what I love the most about cable? It's the bill that you get from them every month. Pain for TV. Yeah. Isn't that a nutty kind of a concept? I love it. Chris, do you ever get to watch uh, cable TV? I do. I've seen Iceman 26 times. It made me laugh, but it also made me think. Hmm. Yeah, and of course, you know, uh, Paul Schaefer here and uh, Chris Elliott. Hello. And uh, also with us on the trip today is NBC News anchorman Tom Brokaw. By the way, Chris, where, uh, where's Tom? He's, uh, he's hanging back a little bit. He said something about chafing. You know, I think uh, he has the same problem on the nightly news, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't work the news. Yeah. Uh, okay, listen, we got a, a full day of hiking ahead of us, so uh, we're going we're gonna to get on with it right now. Chris, do me a favor. Just for like a couple of miles, you mind carrying this stuff? Sure, Dave. I'll grab it. All right, yeah. because I have that lower back thing. Oh, you know, I understand. I was just no, driving around a couple yeah. of days ago. I understand. I, I put like two buckets of balls in there. Sure. Not completely. Sure. I got Chris, okay. can you get Great. mine too? Sure, Paul. Be a dear Here. for you. Thanks sure. a lot. Great. So I guess uh, Brokaw will just catch up with us, right? Yeah, we'll just just go on. Ahead. Far up. Do you know if something were to, to happen to the two of us up here, we'd be finished. Rescue teams probably wouldn't find us for weeks. I wonder who'd host the show. <laughs> Come on, Paul, that's nonsense. Stop talking like that. You give me the creeps. Yeah, Paul. Don't give us the creeps. <laughs> Ah, 
Nice job. Hey, Chris, what are you doing over there? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm digging for clams. Well, come on back over here when you're done. Okay. Hey, Dave, look at this great arrowhead I found this afternoon. Isn't that something? Yeah, that's a beauty, but that's not an arrowhead. That's a rock. Ah, well, Get them in any driveway in the country. There's no use in lugging all these around. Yeah. Oh, Did you get any clams? Uh, no, I didn't, uh, Dave. They weren't biting. Oh. Hey, Paul, nice arrowhead. Ah, thanks. You know, uh, Chris, Paul and I just been sitting around uh, singing our favorite songs, and uh, you have one you want to try by the campfire? Well, no, but I have a story I'd like to tell the two of you. Okay. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, once upon a time, there were two hunters that came up this way, and they were hunting for bison. Nope. No, no. No, bison never really left New England. Well, they were hunting for any wild dog, really. Oh. But then there was this awful noise, and they were never seen again. Isn't that awful? Hey, Chris, isn't that Brokaw's ring you got on there? <laughs> Why, yes, it is, Paul. Thank you very much. Ooh, I am bush. Boy, it's getting late. What, a quarter eight or something? Uh, Chris, do me a favor. Scrub out the pots, scrub out the pans, and uh, douse the fire before you turn in. Oh, sure. Oh, and uh, one other thing. Skin up those beavers, okay? Yeah. We'll have yeah. them for breakfast. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Right. Chris, Come on, Chris. Chris. Yeah. My golf cleats got a little muddy. Can oh, you well, take let me care have of that? that? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll Thanks fix a lot, that up right Chris. away, Paul. Don't worry. Good night. Okay, I'll be right in. Okay. Okay. It's time again. I did what you told me to do. <laughs> everybody thank you so much we we certainly hope you enjoyed our little skit tonight a, as much as we have enjoyed presenting it to you but more importantly we hope that you understood what we were trying to say thank you again good night everybody good night, good night. Good night. thank you Bye. Bye. Thank you, David, and Paul, and Chris, and thank you all very much from all of us here at Comic Relief. This has been a pretty amazing night, I know, and uh, we've just been... Yeah. Our good friend Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Paul, Paul, how are you? So nice to see you. Nice Paul to Schaefer. see you. Thank Paul you Schaefer. very much. Paul, explain to the folks that you and I, how we spent the weekend as traveling companions. I thought it was some kind of a strange, a cruel joke. <laughs> we, now, we traveled out to, to Los Angeles for the weekend to do a, uh, a little uh, pre-taped appearance for the uh, comic relief that's benefit right. that's coming out. On, on one of those uh, uh, lousy little cable outfits. Yeah, that you have to pay for. But now, now, we, now what I don't understand is we fly out Thursday night. Right. We f uh, first, we After leave uh, LaGuardia. They have an airport out there. And then <laughs> we went to Philadelphia and, and sat around Philadelphia for about an hour. Very nice. Then we get to Los Angeles. We had a very nice time, didn't we? You and I had a swell time. Oh, that night. I mean, it was nice. <laughs> no, we were. But I mean, we had as much fun as two guys like you and I are going to have, right? I as mean, two perfectly normal heterosexual guys oh, could ever. Oh, stop. As good a time as they would ever have together. Yes, we did. All right. So now, now I thought we had a great time, and we we did our thing uh, for the folks at HBO. Did the little show. Uh, at a cost of about $20,000. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just, so, charge, just charge it to the homeless. Yeah. That's all. Paul <laughs> <laughs> Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. You know him, you love him. And uh, So anyway, now we're getting ready to come back Sunday, and I, I, I'm by myself. I got nobody to fly with. I'm sitting up there all by myself. You went back with other people. Steve Jordan was on the flight with me, Chris Elliott, his lovely wife Paula. Yeah. What happened to you? Well, no, what happened to you? You changed your plans. 
Well, a, f a flight was a, a reservation. No, I know what happened. I know what happened. I was ago. snubbed. I was snubbed. No, That's no, no, no. <laughs> you know what I really wanted to do, though? You want to what? I well, because I haven't booked up pretty good, and we're working on this cable thing. Cable show. What I wanted to do, and I didn't get to do. It's kind of. <coughs> excuse me, I'm out of breath. Disappointed. Um, I want to do that comedy relief thing. I know oh, you yeah. were on it. Yeah. You were on, they uh, raised uh, money for the homeless. Paul right, and home, I and Chris. Yeah, you guys were on, yeah. on last. Now yeah. you know how I feel. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, 